but we're going to be shooting the 300 hammer, 125 grain maximum expansion bullets. Bill's going to pull the trigger three times. Uh, then we're going to recover these bullets and we're going to show the uh, consistency and how well these bolts expand and they all look identical and also just the value of this good water tank that's testing. So what, what do we got here? What did you work on in design, Bill? Well, my buddy uh, Jeremy and I uh, came up with this concept here. Uh, it's a 16 high, 16 wide, 48 inch deep uh, stainless water tank, okay. you know, with a, with a closed cell foam bladder at the front that we shoot through. What's nice about it, Mike, is we can do a lot of testing in one day. Right. I mean, each, each depends on caliber, but each one of these bladders, if, if I'm testing handguns, I could literally shoot 100 rounds through one bladder before I have to replace it. Right. If I'm shooting 300 hammer, that goes down to about 50. If I'm shooting 308, it goes down maybe to you know 12 or something like that. Imagine how long it would take to shoot 100 rounds testing with gel oh when gosh. I can come out here and I'm, I literally, I can, I, I can shoot 100 shots in this thing in an hour if I wanted to. You know, we test in initially into the water tank, then we test in into water bags, so we're only shooting into, you know, through a, a four mil plastic Mag, bag, yeah. no, no bladder in front of it. And then we test in gel, and then we test in an actual hog cadaver. As we've shown over and over, the results are basically the same. The only variable you have in, in the results really is shooting into the hog, you know, whether you hit you know small bone, big bone, or no bone. That is that is the next level of testing in, in truly proving the concept, pr proving the product for our customers. Uh, the 125 maximum expansion we're really excited about. Heading back over to the mule to back out at 100 yards and take a few shots in that and uh, retrieve these bullets and show everybody what we're what we're all about here. So we fired three shots in here with the 125 mm -hmm. maximum expansion, 300 hammered, 2400 feet a second. Got my little bag laid out here. I'm going to recover those bullets in. Yeah. All right, I'll pull these two out. The 125 grain maximum expansion, all new again for Lehigh Defense. Uh, 2023, a new product that we were introducing here. All the pedals retained weight, uh, perfect weight retention, perfect mm -hmm. penetration. Would you say this? How deep this is? How what? 48 inches deep. Uh, four feet. What Bill's been cont continuing to prove out is the concept of uh, the initial testing and protocols done in water and then we move to some different types of medium but still consistently every every single bullet every single pull of the trigger this is what we're getting. I, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's yeah. just perfect and you know when we're perfecting mm -hmm. you're perfecting this product uh, the, like you said the first one came off didn't work like this and so the value of being able to test every product and how much you test you know I can't emphasize that much of how many how many shots and how many uh, uh, how many prototypes that you've went through to get this final product for the customers that they can they can trust us whether it's in a hunting self-defense or a tactical application well, what we've learned mike using this tank not only is it fast for testing but we get repeatable results as i'm sure what you're going to see in the high speed video this is real violent so we don't know where the bullet stopped from its energy and got washed right, from right. the big wave yeah uh, that's that's another reason we shoot into the four mil water bags right. because we can shoot into the four mil water bags and our penetration will be almost identical as it is when we shoot into gel. Okay. It gives right. us a real good idea what penetration is. And because we're shooting one shot at a time. And, and we're, we're just shooting one shot. We're not shooting multiple shots. I got you. That's excellent. Excellent. That's what we All wanted. Right. All righty. Let's go uh, shoot one of these into the water bags and uh, I'll prove to you they'll look just like that. All right. Sounds good. We're now at the, uh, the Bill Wilson customized four mil plastic bag. We're going to be shooting in this, the 125 grain maximum expansion from 300 hammer, uh, 100 yards. Again, muzzle velocity about 2,400 feet per second. Uh, we're going to be able to shoot in one shot, and then we're going to see what the, uh, what the new 125 ME does from the hammer that you've been working so hard on. We call it a trough. Water trough is what yep. is the term we've came up with uh, for That's this good. thing. And so, you know, what we got, it's uh, once bags are all filled up we got 52 inch depth of, of of water to shoot in here and it's about 180 pounds of water and one of the things that he pointed out to me early was you know the reason that you know he likes to test it going only through the four mil bags is that it basically uh it's that bullet almost doesn't see anything but pure water really through these thin four mil bags well, and it, uh, it doesn't matter what type of bullet it is how big a hollow point no matter what it is we, right we get 100 percent consistent results and and by testing this way. Okay, that's perfect. That's good. Let's go do Let's it. Go I'm do excited. It.
centered that 125 ME up on your uh, the water trough with the four mule bags. And as we look in here, uh, yeah, it's always fun. I love watching water splash. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it did good. We just even get a rough idea of what we're going on here from the uh, from the side. I'm looking at this base and whether it splashed back or washed back, this base is right in here at 45 inches. 45 inches of penetration is where we're going to pull this bullet out. Again, a beautiful expanded 125 grain maximum expansion from the 300 hammer, 100 yards. It consistency, consistency, mm -hmm. and then what, what you perfected from the water tank into the trough, you know, shot after shot after shot, all the revs that you made on this bullet, getting this bullet to look like this for our customers and for, uh, for hunting and self-defense type use, it's a, it's a good bullet. It's a good bullet. We've got a gel block in front of us. We're going to be shooting the first all new maximum expansion high velocity bullet, 125 grains. Bill's got it, I'm gonna shoot it out of his 300 hammer, an awesome cartridge. Muzzle velocity of about 2,400 feet per second. We're gonna take this shot at 100 yards, which is just a good typical hunting type big game shot, whether it's whitetail or pigs or whatever. Well, I'm excited. After all the years of Lehigh Defense, this is really the first, we've done some subsonic maximum expansion, but this is the first high velocity, uh, and what better place to introduce it in the, uh, the great 300 hammer cartridge that you, uh, you pioneered. That's cool. All right. Hey, let's go take that shot. Bill, looks like you put a really good shot on the uh, on the gel block, and uh, we look at the end of this. We have great turn performance. We look at that, and Bill, uh, Bill called that right. He put a jug back here. Uh, we'll look in here. We'll pull this water out, and we'll recover this. Oh man, look at that. That's what you've been. That that's what took the perfection, wasn't it? Yeah. All these took a long time to get to where it does that and doesn't come apart at you know at a hundred yards. But doesn't turn back <laughs> into a CC or yeah. uh, or an extreme chaos. Yeah. Uh, what is really cool is he gets close on this bullet. The pedals completely folded back and are supported against the base of the bullet. It's just beautiful how well that these pedals folded back. Uh, complete weight retention. Mm -hmm. Started with the 125 grains. 125 grains now. I'll tell you what, Mike, without without being able to have that water tank and test in, in water, we could have never developed this bullet. Yeah. If we would have had to done all of our testing in jail, we, we could have never developed this bullet. I mean, it just there was too many shots fired. I mean, you know, we right. went completely through the alphabet once and back to LL second time through before we finally got this bullet right. right. And, and they, every one of those we were shooting at least five shots right on on every one of those revs right. so I, I you know i don't know what the math is on that but it's a lot of rounds we fired <laughs> yeah. you know to to get to the point that we then tested it in gel and on hogs and stuff like that that velocity again you know this is a this is a full 24 inches block of gel it's just absolutely you know so we got a minimum of 25 inches of penetration there absolutely yeah. minimum with with every pedal supported by the base just Picture perfect. Great bullet for all around. For the Bill shot that out of the 300 hammer, getting 2,400 feet per second. It's going to be a great bullet for us. What what level of the you know that's 24 inches of penetration, 25 inches of penetration is not enough. I mean, there's just not much that that, that won't get the job done. Oh yeah, it's plenty of penetration for elk size game. Oh absolutely. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to shoot the uh, 300 hammer into about a 200 pound hog from 100 yards. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna shoot five maximum expansion, 125 grain maximum expansion into the neck area. And then we'll do an autopsy and uh, see what we got. Good shots on this hog, and we look in. You put, had the idea of you've already done this a few times before, yeah. having a water catch basin behind. Yeah. Uh, so, and like a, so we caught four of them. We caught four of those after going through, uh, you know, a good ten, a good ten inches minimum, ten inches of hog. I'm gonna reach in here and show these beautiful 125 grain maximum expansion, fired from the 300 hammer. As you can see, they, they're just the same as they were with, you know, water and gel. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, 100% weight retention. All four pedals bent back, yep. just beautiful. 
Absolutely beautiful. We've got some of these recovered bullets from uh, the 300 hammer, the 125 grain maximum expansion. That was the final test, you know, the hog. They had to pass the hog test with 100% reliability. And uh, Bill, I think they did that, right? Uh, I think so from what we were able to, re to recover there. Yeah, what we've got here, we recovered uh, four of the maximum expansions. Uh, as you can see there, they did just exactly like they're supposed to and, and they did just like they did in water and gel. So, happy with the performance of that. We're, we're at uh, five, just a little over 560 average on the maximum expansion as far as diameter. As far as expanded diameter, you know, one thing that I've, it's, it's always good to point out, we, we usually point this out with a 194 grain maximum expansion for the blackout, that, that each one of these pedals coming down the side is about 450. Uh, then up on the opposing side also 450. So now we have about nine tenths of an inch attached to a 0 .308 base. Uh, and so really what we're looking at uh, when this when this bullet began, went from the hollow point type you know design and these pedals began to fold out. At some point there, they were over an inch and a quarter of expansion, over an inch and a quarter uh, of terminal performance. And then in that pressure going through the hide, through the thick muscle, folded these pedals back in against the base. So, you know, it's, we measure it like that, you know, with the, like everybody else does, but, but at some point, midpoint, midpoint you, know, as, you know. As it was initiating its full expansion, it, you're right, Mike, it, it was pretty big at that point. It was huge, absolutely huge. That, they passed the test, that's what we wanted. We wanted to, the, from the, the foam over the water tank to the trough, to the ballistics gel and to the hog, uh, you know, through all this test, that's exactly what you wanted to prove and to show. Uh, that these bullets perform identical in all, all the tests. So. Well, the main thing I wanted to, to show is how valuable water <laughs> testing is um, and how relevant it is to what the bullets actually do. Right. And that way, I mean, if, if you know, any of our viewers out there want to test bullets, they, you know, they can go and buy some gallons of water or stuff like that, and they can go shoot them into water and, and uh, you know, if they recover a bullet, they can see what it does. This has been a lot of fun in spite of the, the trying weather the last couple of days. We actually had some sunshine today. We've, we've been videoing in, in thunderstorms and rain for two days, but uh, we persevered and we got it, we got it done. And, and I think we uh, have got some valuable information here for our viewers. Yeah, thank you very much, Bill. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah.